any health updates you can share? Uh, I think we're pretty healthy. It looks like everybody's uh, a go, except for maybe Ajay, who's been out for about three weeks. So it uh, looks like we're setting up pretty good, uh, pretty safe right now. Coach, these players look to be having a little more fun in the fall today. Is that uh -huh. something you think will help for tomorrow? Oh, I think so. Anytime, anytime you get a little change of some, you know, we've been practicing this cold for three days now. And it was cold today. I mean, yeah, I'm from Montana where guys are tough, and it was cold today. The players griping about it, or have they wrapped their head around it and use it as a, some sort of inspiration or focus? Uh, you know, I think it's uh, kind of like when they come out of the tunnel this morning, I say, we're going to practice no matter what, so just get used to it, let's go. So, you know, it's all a mindset. You know, if you want to go out there and, and act like it's bad, you're going to be out there anyhow, so you might as well have fun with it. 70 something degrees in Tampa, Florida. Mm -hmm. Is this any kind of advantage for you? Obviously, it's cold for both of you on Saturday night, but is this an advantage? I think it is. I mean, you bring warm weather teams into cold weather. Uh, you know, I've coached a lot of games up north, and uh, anytime you get that change, it's it's different for them, and uh, you know, it's more psychological than anything. But yeah, I think it is an advantage for us. I hope it's 30 degrees and, and freezing rain. Would any of your players agree with you on that? Probably not. How does this affect uh, how does this affect your quarterback weather like this? Uh, you know, we've been practicing this, so I really don't think unless it's wet, I don't think it's going to have any effect on him at all, and him and the receivers. So. Uh, you know, it's like anything else, you, you adapt to it and in a couple of days you're fine. What concerns you the most about South Florida now that you've looked at them on film? Well, you know, they've always been a big physical team and uh, they're really talented. I think they've got as much talent as anybody in the conference. They just uh, haven't put it all together yet. And you hope you get one of those games where, they're, where they don't put it together. But they are a good looking football team. When they come out, you look at them and say, whoa, you know, that's, that's a good looking football team. So. Uh, it's just, uh, you know, hope they they just uh, not ready to play. After Saturday's game in Tulsa, you said if your team played better defense, you win that game. Right. What does your defense look like in practice this week? Well, we've been solid. You know, I don't have any complaints. Uh, my biggest thing is you can't go out in the game and give up big plays like we did in Tulsa. And when you do that, you got problems, and we can't do that. And South Florida's got good enough athletes; they can make you pay if uh, you give up big plays. It's, it, it it can be bad. So you know, we just gotta got to get better. Getting your guys back healthy, is that the biggest key to stemming that tide a little bit? Well, I think it's more continuity in the back end as far as secondary. Uh, you know, we, we've been beat up there since uh, fall camp, and now we're starting to get some continuity back there. And uh, as long as we can do that, I think we'll take away those big plays.